Hey everybody, um, welcome to my video. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be giving you my honest, unbiased review of the luminous wheel made by Seva. Um, I have no reason to lie. I'm not receiving any products from these companies to write cheery reviews or anything like that. Um, so this might be good and it might be bad, maybe a little bit of both. So anyway, in case you're not familiar, um, several companies have wheels of this type, um, which basically include LEDs inside the wheel, which is powered by um, a magnet. Well, not powered by a magnet, but it uses a magnet to sort of mimic a, a, a traditional motor that uses magnets. Um, the difference between this motor and a motor that would be, you know, inside of an engine or something like this is the fact that instead of using you know electricity or plugging something into the wall to make the motor work you're using your legs as the actual electricity and then the motor runs so i don't know if that sounded like a terrible <laughs> explanation i'm not an expert with regard to motors and engines and things like that but anyway um, let's take a look here at the actual wheel. Enough of that boring jargon. I was trying to make it sound like I knew what the hell I was talking about there. It, it, not, not very successfully though. Okay, so when you have your standard wheel, of course you have two bearings on each side and a spacer in the middle if you haven't removed it for more speed control for some of the beginners out there. Um, <clears throat> this is a standard spacer that you'll find inside your wheel. Okay. Now, in Seba's luminous wheel, they use this spacer. It looks a lot different. And if you can see inside the hub, it looks a little bit different than a standard wheel. Maybe you can see it, maybe you cannot. I don't know how the camera's looking. Um, so with this, uh, with this spacer that they use, it is magnetic. And when you put it inside the wheel, it literally just stays in the center. See that? <laughs> It's just in there, it's not really coming out until I really knock it out of there. Because the, it's because of magnetism, it's magic, it just sticks in there. And what this does, after, you're, after you put this in the middle, you can just put standard bearings on each side. Um, I actually am using my Freeride Twin Cam MW9 bearings, which I was using in my previous wheels. The Seba Street Invaders that came with my Seba FR1 skates, and I love my skates. And I these wheels are, are super. They're, they they work fine for me. 84A hardness. Now the luminous wheel um, comes in 85A hardness. I have the exact same setup size-wise on my skates as I did previously, and I'm gonna show you something. And by the way, they come in different sizes. I believe from 72, 76, and 80. Um, I know they have 76 for a fact because I bought one. I front rocker my skates. It's just what I do. So I want to show you something. Um, as far as the way they they perform, um, they like I said, they're 85 hardness. So I, I, I don't really know the how well they are once they are broken in as far as like sliding capability and things like that and grip because I haven't had them long enough to really wear that outer casing out so I can't really give you too much information about that but I'm sure they're probably fine they're 85A they're probably very similar to the Street Invaders um, with that regard now as far as speed is concerned <clears throat> I want to show you something because I saw some reviews from Seba's website somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, if it was on their actual website or maybe a YouTube video. But Seba was saying, these wheels are cool, they're fun, they're bright. I agree with all that. But then it also said they are fast. Hmm. I, I'm sorry, but my honest opinion on that is, heck no, they're not. I tested these wheels out for about four hours the other day um, on an indoor surface. And this indoor surface is, you could, you could fly on this indoor surface. I mean, it's, it's meant for skating. So <clears throat> anyway, I want to show you this wheel. I actually, and this was one of my questions beforehand, and nobody, I never received an answer from anybody, but I verified it myself. One of my questions was, 
or one of my questions had been, my grammar is terrible today and I'm a teacher. Um, I was wondering, well, once I get these wheels, if the magnet is slowing me down to a point where it's not enjoyable, or if I just feel like going fast and I don't care about the, the LED properties, the, the shining properties. And by the way, this special spacer is required to have the wheel light up when they spin. If the spacer is not in the wheel, the lights will not work. So my question was, can I replace this, this, magnetic, this magnetic spacer with a traditional spacer if I want to re, if I want my speed back, I want to, I just want to fly light like usual, and I don't care that the lights aren't working. And I couldn't find an answer. Well, I have an answer for you. The answer is yes. I did that just today, and I want to show you something. So, here, this second wheel right here, this is the wheel which I replaced the magnetic bearing with a, st or I'm sorry, the magnetic spacer. I'm sorry with a traditional spacer. I replace it just fine, and we're gonna spin it, okay? Let's take a look. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. It's almost 10, 1,000, and I could have spun it a little bit harder. Um, <clears throat> now, the rest of the wheels have the the magnetic spacer to allow the LED to function. So let's spin this one more time. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1. So about 10, 11 seconds I was able to get out of that. Now here is one with the magnetic spacer. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, and it stops. It almost like torques back, depending on where it's where it finishes its momentum with regard to exactly where that mag magnet placement is. Let's spin this wheel. This also has a a magnetic spacer to have the LED light up. One one. Th I don't even get one second out of this one, and I've tried to loosen this up as much as possible, even to the point where it's. Um, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I actually loosen this wheel enough where you can toggle it back and forth against the frame, which really isn't advisable, um, but it does loosen up the wheels to make them go faster, and this is as much spin as I can get out of it. I don't know if you can see it lighting up there or not as I spin it. So this really translates to a huge loss of speed when you're actually trying to propel yourself in skating. And I'm firsthand living proof that I did experience that. <clears throat> so when I tested these out, and there's some video footage, I'm not sure if it's here or there. It depends on how I edit this video. When I was skating on these, I instantly was just, I was really disappointed because I guess I was expecting something different, even though I sort of knew beforehand what I was getting myself into. This is a fun wheel. It's it's you know, cool at night. It looks cool, and it serves its purpose in that regard. Absolutely, I can't knock it for that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you're expecting this wheel to even come close to performing speed-wise, like a traditional wheel with that have that with, which which will include good bearings, um, the answer is it's it's just not going to compete. You. I mean, I, I really had to work hard. You get tired faster. Um, so if you're looking for speed out of this wheel, it's, it's not there. They're, when they claim that it's fast, it's just not true. And of course, if you watch their advertisements, they're going to show every possible, you know, the, the professionals looking great, the, the best shots. Of course, I get it. It's advertising. But... And, and, I, and I bought these videos based upon some of these ads and some reviews that I saw from you know folks who may be sponsored and not or whatnot. And th that's great. Um, I, if I had to rank them on a you know on, on performance speed wise from one to ten, I'd give it a two. I'm only giving it a two and not a one because at least it's faster than walking. Um, now, I, I have to I can't really bang it too much and, and be too harsh with my criticism. Because the wheel is meant for, for fun. It looks cool, it's safe at night, 
So if I strictly had to, to rate this from one to 10 on a how fun is it, how cool is it, which is after all, that's what these LED wheels are. They're supposed to be fun, they're supposed to look flashy, they're supposed to look cool. I give it a 10 out of 10 because yeah, man, they look really cool, I'm really happy. Um, one thing also that I'm very, very happy with is the fact that I now know that I can replace the magnetic bearing with a standard bearing. As I showed you, you can get your speed back and I'm sure this wheel will be just fine. Um, and then if you're thinking, well, heck, I wanna go party and uh, get a little bit, get a little slow cruise on and light up, light up the sky, then take that bad boy out, put your magnetic spacer back in and off you go again. So um, <clears throat> for its purpose, I'd give it a 10, okay? It's fun, it lights up. But don't be thinking that this is, you know, a crazy, you're going to go on a long trek, um, bring some water, and maybe some, some cab fare, because you're going to get tired a lot faster. Um, and also on that note, I would have to say this would make a nice gift for a beginner, or maybe maybe if you have a son or a daughter out there, and they're, they're, they're starting to toy with the thought of getting into inline skating, I think it would be pretty cool to get them a pair of skates and replace them with these light up wheels. Um, because of the fact that they really control your speed, that's probably very, very good for a beginner while, they're, while they are still learning their balance and just getting a feel for, for, the, for the, very, the, the fundamentals. And wow, this will probably keep them coming back when they're lighting up <laughs> as, as they're rolling and impressing all their friends and everything like that. So. Um, I guess that's about it. I hope I touched on everything. Um, unfortunately, I can't really report its slide ability or anything like that, because like I said, <clears throat> I haven't taken these on the actual street yet because I was going to return them, but now I'm not gonna return these wheels. I'm actually gonna keep them because they're cool, fun wheels. And like I said, when I don't wanna light up the skies and I wanna get my speed back, you just have to take one bearing out, swap out the spacer, put that one bearing back in, and off you go. It's all good. It's all good, right? So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I was as honest as I possibly could be. So um, don't expect too much, like I said, out of speed. But uh, yeah, if you need a lamp to read while you're rolling, <laughs> maybe you can, maybe these are for you. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. I would be more than happy to gain you as a subscriber. And uh, until next time, happy skating and uh, peace to all my inline skating brothers and sisters out there. Mwah! Have a good day. Bye-bye.